Okay, so uh, Big Blue Button is a really cool kind of uh, web conferencing tool that's used by like students and like learning. Um, but uh, I found it really, really cool uh, just to use for regular meetings, like instead of Zoom or even Google Meet. Um, so I was able to get it installed on our kind of server um, on techiecast.com. And, uh, and I'm going to just start a, um, a, new, um, a new room or just join this room that I have created. Um, and then I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask, um, uh, I'm going to ask Isma to join. Oh, I can hear myself. This is interesting. Yes, I hear myself. Oh, here, Isma's here. Oh, cool. So I'm going to promote him to moderator to see if he can do other stuff. Hey, Isma, can you hear me? Oh, this is really cool. Can you share your video on your phone? Okay. I can see my own video right now. Yeah. Whoa, this is sick. This is amazing. And so can you try drawing on the screen as well? So wait, are you on your phone? Okay, interesting. What? That's really awesome. Okay, cool. I'm just shooting a, the video for the demo right now. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, peace. So, so yeah, that, that was really cool. Um, so basically, we were able to, I guess, add additional members um, and then have a kind of collaborative whiteboarding session on, on this blank board, which is like insane. I don't think Zoom or, um, uh, or Google Meet do that uh, kind of off the bat. Uh, so that is awesome. Um, and then some other stuff I guess we can do is um, you can start a poll. Okay, that's cool. Um, obviously, you can upload the presentation. That's what this is. Uh, you can share an external, the, an external uh, video. So let's see if I have like a YouTube video. Um, not sure if I have one. Let's see if I can find just a TechieCast video. So I'm just going to copy and paste the video link in here. Nice. Oh, that was like so seamless. So um, so I'm assuming that everyone will be able to see this. Okay, that is really cool too. So obviously the audio gets shared. Um, wow, that's that's sweet. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Um, so audio, video, uh, oh, sharing your screen. Okay, I can share my screen as well. This is really nice. So if I say, I don't know, I'll share just the home page for a big blue button where it shows up in here. Okay, nice. Yeah, so it's simple um, sharing. So I can share a tab or I can share uh, an application um, or like obviously the whole screen. So I'm going to stop sharing. Wow. Yeah, this is this is like a really good tool. Um, I think this is almost better than Zoom or or Google chat or Google meets. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with everything here. <laughs> this is really cool. And uh, the fact that Isma was able to join just like really quickly before he had to leave, I guess, um, was really cool too. But that's, that's basically it. Um, so why don't we get started on the actual installation or move to the installation uh, just so that you guys have a sense of, I guess, how to get this. So um, before you get started, just uh, make sure you're running a clean installation of Ubuntu 16.04 um, and that also you have port forwarding set up on these ports. Um, and then also just create a host name um, based on whatever host name you have and create a kind of sub subdomain and point the A record to uh, the public IP address of the machine that you want to install everything on. So once you have all that stuff set up, um, you can switch over to the code. Uh, so this is like the big blue button um, uh, Git repository, and they've released a installation script, which is like super, super nice. So if you ran this, just this single command on a fresh installation of Ubuntu, like you'll be good. Like everything will be installed and you'll have like demo, um, like a demo room where you can kind of play around. Um, but if you want to have like kind of a more production type of environment, um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, 
uh, to command options, you can include a couple options in addition. So I basically use the dash dash as my starting point. Um, and I'm just going to switch over to the terminal to show you exactly the command I used. So um, again, starting with the dash dash as the starting point, I added the dash V for the version. Xenial 22 is the most recent version of Big Blue Button. Um, the dash S uh, is the host name. So obviously change this to whichever host name that you um, have set up with your A records. Um, and then the dash E is your email, which is what um, Let's Encrypt will use to register your certificate, your SSL certificate, and then the dash G will install uh, Greenlight, which is like a really nice um, kind of front end for user management within the blue button. So this is all just one line, and I'm um, SSH'd into the um, the Ubuntu machine. So I'm not going to run this command because I already installed um, Big Blue Button on on my virtual machine. But if you copy and paste this entire line, um, you'll be good. Uh, and obviously, just replace the the host name with whichever host name that belongs to you um, and the email that belongs to you, and then hit enter, and then just like chill for like 15 to 20 minutes, and like really like a good 15 to 20 minutes because it will take some time um, just like go play a game or something and then once you come back and it's done uh, you will be able to go to this domain and and everything will be working perfectly so that's that's literally it like that's all you need to do to install um, and if anyone has any questions just like post a comment or something uh, and we'll try to get we'll get answers to them but but I, honestly this is like the stupidest easiest installation I have found um, and and uh, initially, I actually used the uh, the documentation that was listed on the Big Blue Button website. Um, and because they don't use the script, um, they they actually um, lead you to install like an older version of Big Blue Button. And so I went through all the steps and everything worked fine. But it, but in the end, I had the older version of Big Blue Button, which used Flash. Um, so then I had to like. I, yeah, I, it was really upsetting and and wasted a lot of my time, but um, but but these guys have posted like a really nice script. They've created a really nice script. They've created a really nice software, to be honest. Um, and and so I I wish you all the best luck, in in your installation, and uh, and let me know if you have any issues. But um, but everything should be perfect after this, and that's it. Thanks.